Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English and today we are going to be doing a vocabulary lesson and test for you and the theme of the vocabulary is going to be taking the train. So this video there will be a mixture of video and photographs um, to teach you some important words on the theme of taking the train. So every time there is an important word for you to remember or to learn I have um, written the word in red. So all the words written in red that you see they are the important words to remember. Okay so hopefully that should make it easier for you. So we're going to see um, some videos and some photographs of um, things which are to do with the train and then we'll do a summary right at the end and I'll list all the words that we have learned today and then right at the end there will be a little quiz a little fun game for you to test you and to make sure that you've remembered the words okay so let's get started So here we can see um, a man and a girl um, going to the train station. So this is the first word that we are learning is the train station. So that is the place where you go to take the train. And the name of the people who are getting the train or taking the train is we call them passengers. So these are two passengers. So they are the people. The people who are going to take the train are called passengers. And they are both carrying luggage. So the word luggage is the word for the bags. So it is a collective noun and it means the bags. All of their bags we call them luggage. Sometimes you will hear the word baggage as well. It is the same thing, baggage or luggage. But for this video we will use luggage. So now we are here inside the train station and we can see lots of things here. There's lots of things which are happening. Lots of people are moving around. So here we can see a passenger here. This, this girl here is the, is the passenger and she is pulling her luggage with the handle. And you can see in the distance there are some screens with some train information on them. So on those screens there will be information regarding the train departures and train arrivals. But we'll look at those a bit later. There'll be some more um, words for you um, regarding the screens later on in this video. So inside the train station. Here the passenger with her luggage is buying a ticket at a ticket machine. She's buying a ticket at a ticket kiosk. So there are two words for the same thing. So usually in Europe we call it a ticket machine 
and usually in America they call it a ticket kiosk but it is exactly the same thing it is the machine or um, yes it's the machine where you can purchase or you can buy your ticket you can pay for it directly with your credit card so ticket machine or ticket kiosk so first of all train times to know the train times you must read the timetable so you can see the timetable here this is the word the important word timetable and this is what it looks like in English I'm sure you've already seen one in your own country so the timetable contains the names of the stations the train stations down the left hand side and then across the on the right hand side you see the times for each train so this is one train this is two the second train this is the, the next train this is the next train so when you want to know the times of a train you must ask to see the timetable and sometimes in a train station you will see um, information boards like this one which contain the departure times for the train station and also the arrival times you can see on this photograph it is the departure times the departure times are the times of the trains leaving the station and the arrival times are the times of the trains coming to the station departure times arrival times when to travel peak time is the period of time when lots of people are taking the train it is the busy time it is expensive to take the train during peak times so an example of the peak time would be for example eight o'clock in the morning on a Monday because lots of people are going to work at the same time and so peak time if you wanted to take the train at a peak time the ticket would be expensive off peak time is the period of time when few people are taking the train it is a very quiet time it is cheaper to take the train during off peak times it costs less money so an example of an off peak time would be um, a Monday evening at nine o'clock for example because there are very few people who will want to get the train at this time and so train stations will sell their tickets for cheaper so this is called the off-peak time buying a train ticket so this is the train ticket so to to take the train you have to buy a train ticket you must buy a train ticket and it is a, a little piece of paper which proves that you have paid in English the cost or price of a train ticket is called the train fare so a train fare so if 
your ticket costs five pounds or five dollars the train fare is five dollars you can buy your train ticket in several places in a train station in fact there are mainly two places that you can buy a train ticket number one you can buy a train ticket at a ticket machine sometimes called a ticket sorry a ticket kiosk so a ticket machine or a ticket kiosk it's the same thing um, usually in England or in Great Britain or in Europe we would call it a ticket machine and very often in Northern America so Canada or the United States of America they say ticket kiosk this is a photograph of it here so it is a machine um, a computerized machine where you can buy your ticket or you can buy your ticket at a ticket office so a ticket office is like going to a travel agent or going to a bank you go up to a counter and there is somebody an agent behind the desk who will sell you the ticket and give you some advice and answer any questions so you can buy a train ticket using a ticket machine or by going to a ticket office If you want to go somewhere but you do not want to come back you buy a single ticket sometimes also called a one-way ticket there's a very famous song by the Beatles called called that a one-way ticket but if you so if you want to go somewhere but you are not coming back you buy a single ticket if you want to go somewhere but you do want to come back for example if you go from London to Manchester and then you want to come back from Manchester back to London later in the day then you buy a return ticket so you can see on the photograph here it is actually written return on the ticket and here as well it is actually called um, single on on the ticket when you want to for example if you want to go from Bristol to Manchester um, you have two choices of how you go you can either just take one train and you go from Bristol using one train all the way to Manchester this is the red line okay. this is called a direct train so if you take one train to go from Bristol to Manchester this is called a direct train but sometimes you cannot take a direct train sometimes you cannot just take one train and sometimes you have to take two trains for example you might have to go from Bristol to Birmingham first and then go from Birmingham to Manchester second if you do this in English we say that at Birmingham you have a connection you have a connection and your second train journey 
fact, so the journey going from Birmingham to Manchester, we say that is a connecting train, a connecting train. So, as you can see at the bottom, if you take two trains to go from Bristol to Birmingham, you have a connection in Birmingham. And the name of this train, this is called a connecting train from Birmingham to Manchester. So it's the second train that you take is called the connecting train. There are two types of tickets that you can buy when you are buying a ticket. A second class ticket will have minimum comfort and, this, and services and the ticket will be cheaper. So you can see on the photograph, you know, you've, it's comfortable but nothing, um, it's nothing luxurious. Um, there aren't many services, but the ticket will be cheaper. This is called a second class ticket. And if you want um, to have more comfort and more services, then you must buy a first class ticket. So a first class ticket but this will be more expensive and you can see in the photograph you see you you have a nice light you have um, more comfortable seats um, there is more space there are less seats so there is more space and you have um, restaurant and food served to you at your table so two types of ticket two types of service second class and first class. In some countries, when you buy your ticket, before you take the train, you must stamp your ticket. You must stamp the ticket. And so you stamp the ticket by inserting it into this machine and the machine will stamp the date and time onto the ticket. In England this isn't usually um, necessary. Um, usually in England um, your ticket will be stamped for you by um, the ticket controller. So there will be a ticket conductor or a ticket controller, um, a person who will check your ticket on the train and he or she will stamp your ticket for you. Train information. In um, the train station there will be information boards like this one, information screens, where um, lots of important information is displayed about the train and it will be information about departing trains and also arriving trains, trains that are arriving, so departures and arrivals. And so there is information about the company of the train, the time of the train, the destination, the train number, the track number, and the status. And the status means um, it will tell you here if the train is late or if it is on time. If the train is late, we say it is delayed. The train is delayed. But if, the tra if it is okay, if it is not late, if the train will arrive at the expected time, we say the train is on time. The train is on time.
and if you see the word cancelled that means there is a problem and the train will not come the train is not running so the train uh, you have to get another train you have to book another train because this one is not running now it could be because there is a problem with the weather or a strike or a technical problem but whatever the reason the train being cancelled it means the train is not running because of a problem sometimes in a train station you have a long time to wait and you would like to for example visit the town while waiting and so you want to store your um, your luggage somewhere so this is your luggage luggage means your bags so luggage is a collective word for your all of your bags and in a train station there is very often a place which they call a left luggage locker so if you go to a train station you can perhaps ask them do you have any left luggage lockers please and this is what it is it is a place where you can put your bag in safely and then you put in a coin you have to you, obviously, you have to pay and you get a code so you can come back three or four hours later or maybe a few days later and collect your bag collect your luggage so you can leave your luggage in a left luggage locker you often see these at, at airports as well um, for train stations it is often only the very big train stations for example in London and Paris they have these but I don't think they have them in smaller towns in for example um, a town like Reading in, in, in England I don't think they have left luggage lockers it is usually the larger um, the larger train stations So here we are learning the verb for entering the train. So we say to get on a train. So here we can see in the film the passenger is getting on the train. So he gets on the train. He is getting on the train. So the verb is um, to get on. To get on the train. The passenger is getting on the train. Here we can see the inside of the train with some important parts of the train. Here down the left hand side, this is the, um, the passage down the middle of a train. So it's between these seats here and the seats on the other side. This um, lane or passage is called an aisle. If you notice the, the, the difficult pronunciation, it begin, you don't hear the letter S and it's not really you don't really hear the letter a either so we say aisle so this is the aisle because this is the aisle the seat which is on this side all of these seats down here are called the aisle seats so this is an aisle seat and this seat here this seat because it is next to the window it is called the window seat and these words are important because very often when you are buying your ticket the um, the agent in the ticket office or the software on the ticket 
machine um, will ask you would you prefer an aisle seat or a window seat so this is what that means and the luggage rack is this um, this section at the top above the heads of the passengers so at the top of the inside of the train there are these um, it's like a big shelf um, where you can put your luggage so there's room there to put um, to put your bags um, and any other items a coat for example so that is called the luggage rack And here at the end or in the middle of this part of the film we can see quite a few new words so obviously this is the train itself so the train that is what has just left the station the train has just departed and the train runs on the track so the track are these long metal bars um, with the wooden these are called sleepers in fact but the important word is the track or sometimes called the train track but the track is fine and here we have the platform so the platform is the place or the area that the passenger stands on when he is waiting for the train so the platform is this bit it's the ground um, at the station and it is usually slightly raised from the ground it is slightly raised so that it is not at the same level as the track so we say this is the platform And this um, here I am showing you um, a part of the train so a train is made up of lots of carriages or sometimes called wagons but usually called a carriage so this is the start of the carriage here and it goes all the way back to here and there behind it there is another carriage which is starting here and so a carriage is like a compartment it's it's a compartment and each carriage is usually separated by a door there's usually a door inside the train at the end of each carriage this word is very important for when you are getting on the train because on your ticket there will be a carriage number so you have to look at your ticket to see which carriage number you are on before you can get onto the train so on your ticket it will be written carriage number 10 for example
if you are on the train and you are feeling hungry, then you need to go to the buffet bar, the buffet car. Sorry, the buffet cart, not the buffet bar, it's the buffet car. Or the buffet carriage, it is sometimes called. That is where you can buy a snack or something to eat or something to drink. And you can see on the photograph here, there are people there in there having a, um, a glass of orange juice. So if you need to know where you can find this, you could ask somebody on the train, excuse me, where is the buffet car? Here we are learning the word for leaving the train. So when you arrive at your station to leave the train, we say to get off the train. So the verb is to get off, to get off the train. So here in, on this film, in this part of the film, we can see this lady, the, the passenger, is getting off the train. So she is getting off the train. So, that is the, um, the end of the lesson, the end of the vocabulary lesson. And this is a list or a summary of all the vocabulary, of all the words that we have seen today. All the words which were in red. All the important words that you need to remember. So, I will go through them just so that I won't give you the definition again because we have already seen it, but I'll just go through the pronunciation again for you. So I'll start at the top left and I'll move down to here. Train station, escalator, screens, ticket office, ticket machine or ticket office or sorry, ticket kiosk. Left luggage locker, passenger, luggage, get on the train, get off the train, train, carriage, track, platform, luggage rack, aisle seat, window seat, Buffet car, departure times, arrival times, delayed, cancelled, on time, timetable, ticket, fare, return ticket, single ticket, First class, second class, peak, off peak, direct train, connecting train. Okay, so that is all the vocabulary. Next, and for the final part of the video, I'm going to give you a game, a fun quiz. Uh, to test you with these words. So if you do not think you're ready then perhaps go back and look at the video again, watch the video again maybe before we come to the questions. Okay. But if you think you're ready and you're ready to play the game keep watching. So to test you on some of the words we are going to do a crossword puzzle. So, I am sure you are familiar with this. You often see these crossword puzzles in newspapers or in magazines. So, there are um, some words which are hidden um, in the puzzle. Okay, So, there are three words which are going across 
horizontal so, so there are three horizontal words five across seven across and eight across so each line there is a hidden word in there okay and there are also words coming down starting at the top so there is a word here not four down um, three down six down one down and two down and so there are questions I will give you now the questions to find the answers okay so for example across mean across means horizontal and down means vertical so for example here five across is this one so this is the question for here for this word so the question is if you want to go from London to Manchester but not come back what type of ticket must you buy and in brackets after each question it tells you how many words are there in the answer so here there is there are two words and the first word has six letters and the second let second word has six letters as well okay so seven across is here and so that is the question and this time it has one word with five letters okay and it's the same for down so down for example number four four down is here and the question will ha the answer will have two words and the first word has five letters and the second letter has six letters and so all of these missing words um, will join up so for example the last letter of the answer to seven across will be one of the letters in the answer to four down okay so I'm not going to give you the answers in the video but I'm going to let you um, give you some time to find the answers yourselves and I will give you the answers in the comments so once you have the answers um, give me the answers in your um, in the um, in the comment section so write a comment with the answers and then I'll tell you if you're right or not okay so for example in the comments section write um, five across and then just give me the answer for seven across eight across etc etc okay well that's it that's so that's the end of the video if you like the video uh, if you like the lesson and you would like more vocabulary lessons like this one then please subscribe to my channel uh, and click on like for this video to show me that you liked it and leave a comment as well so leave me a comment to, um, with any questions and perhaps the answers to the to the quiz and if you have any other questions about um, the vocabulary that we've seen today then go ahead ask the question and I will answer you in the comment section as well okay thanks very much bye bye